everyone, it's Harriet Sugar Cookie, and this weekend I'll be covering MCM Comic Con. Why am I not in cosplay today? Because it is 27 degrees in London, and I am not as brave as some of the cosplayers. But we will be interviewing them today, so all right, let's check it out. It is my favourite League of Legends character, and it's my main character as well. Um, MCM Expo is usually quite um, Western based, so I thought a Western costume, so Daphne from Scooby Doo might be quite nice. I like to see if I can make something, because I build corsets, and I want to see if I could build a corset into the dress. Uh, I play Overwatch about 10 hours of the day, and I figured it was going to be like 30 degrees, so why not go as a sexy Reaper, who I always main as. Uh, it's from the anime Kill the Kill, and I just absolutely love it. She's my favourite character, so I just had to dress up as her. Well, um, this was a commission. Um, this was a Zach Fisher design done by Jessica Negri, and I saw it, and I was just like, "Yes, yes." I just love Anna. I see her as myself. She loves chocolate and falls overloads. So, uh, definitely, when I saw the new film come out and I saw the press release for Rita, I was like, <gasps> "I have to cosplay that." It was just so badass. Mine is from a really old PlayStation One game. And I wanted to do something a bit nostalgic and something unique. Um, well, Anastasia has been my favourite film since I was a child, so this is quite a dream cosplay for me. <laughs> um, I was in a massive group of like 30 other Avengers, and I've kind of broken off from the group, but we try and do the Avengers every single year and like do a different version. Mainly just the game, I guess. We just played it and loved it. I massively love the anime Bleach, uh, and I love big weapons, so had to be done. The actual Tales took the longest, about a few months. Um, this one is its a reused costume. Mine took about like a day. It was a pretty easy one because it's very simple, but yeah, I'm happy with it. <laughs> I'd say maybe one or two days of work, not much. <laughs> two weeks of solid sewing. <laughs> I worked in it every weekend for about four weeks. Yeah, uh, about two months on and off between work. Um, I was working on this in another cosplay and it took me about five weeks to get them done. I didn't make this one, um, I made my one yesterday so I couldn't, I couldn't make all of them because I have full time work. Just over two months. Same for me really. Longer than it should have, um, I rush made it in like two days. Uh, this one took about two weeks. Um, the costume itself only took about a day, the sword and shield probably only took about two days, the boat was sort of two to three weeks. Um, this one actually, um, I did most of this last night um, because I changed a lot of it to go with the new Four Ragnarok trailer. I just recommend planning ahead and structuring your cosplay from the very scratch. If you feel pretty or if you feel badass, just go for it. Just enjoy your day. Yeah, same. Just don't think about what, don't care about what other people think because at the end of the day, it's like you that matters. So don't listen to other people. <laughs> to start small and then like work yourself up as you gain more experience. Remember just to have fun because a lot of cosplayers get a lot really stressed out before a convention. Just go with it and have fun. Do not leave it until the night before, which is what I always do. Don't do it, it's not worth it. Definitely make sh everything out of foam first, measure it and just pray. Just do it because we're all nerds and we all love doing it, so just join us. Don't be scared, Don't. nothing's the limit, so just watch lots of YouTube tutorials. <laughs> yeah, don't go down the hole, I can't do that. Yeah. A year ago I would never have been able to do this, so anyone can do it. Come and ask more experienced cosplayers, we're more than happy to help you out. Uh, pick a character you love because then the love sustains you throughout the building process. I think that would be my advice. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> That's how I feel right now. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> Really freaking hot. Yes, <laughs> yes. yes. Oh my god. <laughs> Absolutely. Busy. <laughs> Eventful. <laughs> uh, fun. <laughs> fun. Definitely fun. <laughs> warm. Very warm. Just come in the winter. Some kind of swear word. <laughs> this one. Long. Oh, wow. Uh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Chaos. Drama. Destruction. <laughs> Elaborate. What's your experience with uh, cosplaying as something quite sexy and revealing? Um, it's been okay. Normally people are very respectful, everyone's been very nice. Now and then you do get the odd person who sort of pushes the boundaries a bit, but tell them no, obviously. And if you can tell security as well, that's absolutely fine and it's normally okay. okay so the first question is actually uh, something else, but I have to ask. Are you really tall or are you wearing heels? Um, I'm tall and wearing heels, so... <laughs> I see. Combination. <laughs> Just to let you guys know, I am not super short, I know. 
Just want to clarify, I am not, I'm an average side now. It is impossible at all for me to try the sword on, is it? Uh, it is, yeah, it is. Oh, thank strong. you, I'll try. We may have hit a few people. <laughs> Definitely accidentally. <laughs> so you're saying that wasn't fake blood I saw outside? No. <laughs> Maybe. It was definitely fake blood. You know Rule 34, if you could have one character that you would watch, what would you, who would it be? There's too many. No Disney princess? I think Elsa. I think it would get quite interesting. <laughs> I don't know if she'd be able to control her powers. <laughs> Um, I'm actually going to go with Howl from Howl's Moving Castle because he's very attractive. A very attractive man. Okay, so if you could see a guy cosplay, what would you want to see him cosplay as? A guy? I want Eric. We need more Erics. <laughs> I want Prince Cornelius. Yes, Definitely. Prince Cornelius, I need him. Yes. I need a Prince Cornelius in my life. You heard that, guys. If you want to get some cosplay girls, you're going to need to be Disney princess in future. <laughs>